The Nigerian National Power Grid again collapsed on Monday, October 14, 2024, marking the sixth time this year that residents of the country have been plunged into total darkness. We need light, 24 hours light. We have the money, we have the resources to do that. We can't be continuing staying in darkness. The national grid that was painstakingly designed in October 1962 over the years have been left to its ruins. Today, we dive into the story of engineer Clement Chuku Kadibia Onyemelukwe and how he initiated the designing, planning, and development of the 330 kV national electricity grid still used in Nigeria today when he became chief electrical engineer in 1962. He is also referred to as the father of electricity in Nigeria. Born April 1, 1933, in Nanka, Anambra State, he attended DMGS, a premier colonial era boys secondary school in Onitsha, University College Ibadan for two years before he was sent by the British colonial government to Leeds University. He received his BSc engineering degree in 1956 and worked in the power sector in the United Kingdom. He acquired a second degree in economics from London University. He had nearly abandoned any intention of returning to Nigeria when the Electricity Corporation of Nigeria ECN, recruited him as part of the drive to fill civil service and parastatal positions after Nigeria's independence from Britain in 1960. In 1961, he became deputy chief and the following year he was made chief engineer, taking over from the British who had run the operations for many years. It was on his desk that the first outline of what is now the PACN, formerly ECN and NEPA grid was formulated. All the chief executives of NEPA, the renamed National Electricity Corporation, since its inception up to 2001, were his former staff. Clement Onye Milukwe, Nigerian chief electrical engineer of the country's electricity corporation, generated international attention when he married Catherine Zastro, a White Peace Corps volunteer who had just completed her service in 1964. With the Nigerian Civil War looming in 1967, Clements left Energy Commission of Nigeria ECN. He left the electricity industry to found Freeman Engineering in Lagos in 1973. In 1976, he founded Coal Church International Limited, a project management and promotion company in the United Kingdom. Today, Coal Church is active in 32 countries worldwide and has its head office in London and a sub-head office in the United States. He has written many books and lectured widely on the power industry, economic development and growth in the global top universities and conferences. He died on January 18, 2020 of metastatic non-small cell non-smokers lung cancer in his Westport home in US, aged 86. He is survived by his wife Catherine and their three children. As we conclude this exploration of Nigeria's national grid, we reflect on the visionary legacy of engineer Clement Onye Milukwe, who laid the groundwork for a robust electrical infrastructure in 1962, what was once a pioneering achievement has regrettably become a symbol of neglect and decay. Today, the national grid stands in a dilapidated state, beset by frequent outages, insufficient capacity, and outdated technology. The vision that foiled its creation has been overshadowed by mismanagement and a lack of investment, leaving millions in the dark and injuring Nigeria's potential for growth. As we grapple with the pressing challenges, it is crucial to remember that the dreams of the past can inspire a renewed commitment to rebuilding and revitalizing this critical system. The story of Nigeria's electricity is not just about power, it's about progress, resilience and the hope for a brighter and more electrified future. Meanwhile, would the Ministry of Power rise to the occasion and restore the grid to its former glory 